Story time about why I hate my brother's girlfriend. So a little background information, I was 14 years old and had just started my freshman year of high school and my brother and his girlfriend were both seniors. And we're gonna call his girlfriend Riley. Now Riley and my brother started dating in the middle of the summer. And you would think since they just started dating and basically just met each other that I wouldn't know her that well. But literally two days after they started dating, she started spending every single day at my house. I'm being serious, like she had a whole duffel bag that had basically her closet in it. But that wasn't the problem. So in the summertime, my parents would plan a lot of family activities. And since they were called family activities, his girlfriend wasn't allowed to go. I mean, I think she would have been allowed to go, but she was also really disrespectful to my mom. So after one of our family days, my parents asked my brother if Riley would be joining us for dinner. And he just ignored them and went up to his room. And my room's right next to his so I could hear everything. And Riley called him like for part two. Part two about why I hate my brother's girlfriend. So like I said, my room was right next to my brother so I could literally hear everything. And I guess Riley called him and she was complaining about me. She was like, she's the reason why your mom doesn't like me. I feel like she's jealous of me. She doesn't want us to be together. Which was really weird because I didn't give a fuck about what my brother did. So fast forward, school finally starts. And Riley lived about 20 minutes away from us. So my brother told her that he couldn't go and pick her up for school every day. But obviously I would ride to school with him because we lived together. Anyways, eventually she had a problem with that too. So my brother and I had to start leaving 30 minutes early to get to school so we could pick her up. So the first time that we pick her up, we pull up to her house. And obviously I'm in the front seat and she's just standing there. So my brother rolls down the window and he's like, get in the fucking car, we're gonna be late. And then she literally has the audacity to start arguing with my brother in front of me about why she should get the front seat instead of me. Like for part three. Part three about why I hated my brother's girlfriend. So like I said, once she got in, she started screaming about how she should get the front seat instead of me. So I turn around and I'm like, last time I checked, you've only been here for two months. Stay in your fucking lane. And then she starts crying because she's like, oh my god, your sister's so mean to me. Like, I just feel like I should have more respect as his girlfriend. So fast forward to the weekend, my mom said that she needs to have a talk with me. And she's like, honey, I know you may not like your brother's girlfriend, but you have to stop being mean to her. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I've only had one conversation with her in the last week. And that was to tell her to stay in her fucking lane. And then I told her about everything going on. So she calls my brother down to ask him if it's true. And my brother was pretty pissed off at me, but he wouldn't lie. So my mom said that she was not allowed over the house anymore and that he wasn't allowed to go pick her up from school until I got my license. So that just caused more problems between her and my brother, so he broke up with her. And then she started spreading rumors that she broke up with him because there was something weird going on between him and I. Story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy. So a little background information, I was 15 and it was my freshman year of high school. And I had been dating this guy for three months who we're gonna call Jacob. He was a part of the popular group and was known for cheating on all his past girlfriends. But why would I see that as a red flag? Because I'm fucking dumb. Anyways, of course he was cheating on me too, and people would tell me that. At first I wanted to leave him, but the problem was he came from a super rich family and he was really cute. So in reality, I really only wanted to stay with him so that way he would keep spoiling me with expensive gifts. He would literally buy me anything and everything I wanted. So my best friend, who we can call Taylor, she came over for a sleepover. The whole night we talked about Jacob cheating on me and she asked me why I had not broken up with him yet. So I told her why I wouldn't leave and then she hyped me up. She was like, period, sis, do what you gotta do. Well, then I came up with this super good plan for my best friend and i both to get gifts from him and use him so then i came out and i said you should be a side chick like for part two part two about how my best friend and i were dating the same guy so like i said before he was cheating on me 24 7 but he was spending money on me 24 7 that's the reason why i wouldn't leave him so then i told my best friend that she should be his side chick so that way we could both use him for his money so taylor started flirting with him to try and make him want her too and i may have given it a little push by giving her his Snapchat, so she tried to slide in his DMs and then also tried texting him on Snapchat. At first, his cheating ass did not want to do anything with her. And I was like, the one time. The one time. Anyways, he was like, I'm with your best friend right now. I don't think we should do this. But of course, like all boys who cheat, he ended up meeting up with her. And they started sneaking around. Meanwhile, I knew all the tea. Taylor was telling me everything. Taylor started getting things from him 24-7, and he looked so stupid. Well, then we decided to fuck with him one more time. Like for part three. 
story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy at the same time. So like I said, she was sneaking around with him. Meanwhile, she was telling me everything. He was buying her gifts. He was buying me gifts. So everything was perfect. But we had one little trick left up our sleeves. We decided that we would both make a wish list and put everything that we wanted on there. And at the end of the month, we would have a sleepover, bring everything that we got. Well, on the night of the sleepover, we brought everything. And let me tell you, this filled up my king size bed. There was stuff all on the floor. So what did I do? I took a video of it and I uploaded it to Instagram, tagging him and his friends and wrote a long ass caption. Basically saying, if you cross me, this is what will happen. You'll get played. He was so embarrassed, his friends and everyone at school basically laughed at his dumb ass. Well, he ended up telling his mommy about it, and they came and talked to my parents. And they pretty much just told them to get the fuck over it, like your son did what he did willingly. She didn't do anything wrong. She meaning me. My dad was kind of mad at me, but my mom was super impressed about it, and we laugh about it all the time time about how my neighbor killed my dog so a little background information when i was about three years old my parents got me a german shepherd and my neighbors who lived next to us absolutely loved our dog and so did their kids like their dad literally put a doggy door in the fence so that way our dog could go back and forth from our house to his house well when i was about eight years old my neighbors decided to sell their house so he told us that he had to take out the doggy door because the people that were buying his house hated animals. Well, the people who had just bought his house, they ended up moving in before he could take out the doggy door. So our new neighbors asked us if we could put like a piece of plywood in front of the door so that way our dog couldn't get through. And they said that they would do the same to their side of the fence. So my dad said, yeah, he put a piece of plywood in front of there. Well, my dog, Gabe... The one night that my brother let him out, he ended up getting the plywood off of the doggy door. Well, my brother literally had to crawl through the doggy door to get the dog before one of them saw him in the yard. Like for part two about how my neighbors killed my dog. So like I said, my brother let the dog out and my dog got the piece of plywood off of the door. And my brother had to crawl through the doggy door to get my dog out of our neighbor's yard. So that way our neighbors wouldn't wake up and know that he got through. But whenever my brother went to go get Gabe... He realized that my neighbors didn't even have a piece of plywood on their side of the fence or anything. So my brother told my dad and my dad went over there the next day to talk to them. And he pretty much said, I'm not going to have a piece of fucking plywood on my side of the fence if you're not going to be doing anything on yours to prevent my dog from going into your yard. And they were like, oh, well, your old neighbors never took out the doggy door. And my dad was like, that's not our fucking fault. Well, then our new neighbors said, if your dog all of a sudden becomes sick or just does not come back, don't be surprised. My dad decided to replace the door himself. Well, once Gabe realized that the doggy door was gone, when we would let him outside, he would literally just sit there and bark at the fence. Well, two weeks later, Gabe ended up passing away. And we found out it's because our neighbors were giving him rat poison. Story time about why I made my boyfriend stop being friends with his girl best friend. So a little background information. I was in my sophomore year of high school and my boyfriend and I had been dating for about six months. And he had been best friends with this girl, we're going to call her Addie, for about three years. Now, I had known Addie way before that, probably since we were in kindergarten. But her and I weren't like BFFs, we were more of acquaintances. But obviously we became friends because she was always around my boyfriend. A month after him and I started dating, I decided that we had to set boundaries for their friendship. Because they had first period together, right? Well, every morning at 9.45, I would go on Snapchat and I would see a picture of them. And it would be her kissing him on the cheek. Not only would it be on her story, but it would also be on his. And I had her on Snapchat before that. She had never done that, ever. So he said that he had talked to Addie about it, right? And things were good for the next two months. But then they were forced to work together on a project. Like for part two. Part two about why I made my boyfriend stop being friends with his girl best friend. So like I said, they had been forced to work together on a school project. At least that's what he told me. So I brushed it off because I was not about to seem like the jealous girlfriend. Well, the next day, him and I were supposed to go out to the movies. So I texted him right before we were about to leave. And I said, hey, are you on your way to get me? He goes, OMG, no, I'm sorry, I forgot. I have to work with Addie on this project. She's about to come over my house. So at this point, I'm like really pissed off. So I text him and I say, I thought you guys had a whole week to work on this project. Why does it have to be tonight? Addie knew that him and I were supposed to go to the movies that night also. He said, we just want to get it done really quickly so that way I can spend the rest of the week with you. And she's snapping me the whole time that she's at his house off of his phone so at around 1 30 a.m i get a snapchat from her on his account and she's laying on his chest like for part three
Part three about why I've been my boyfriend stopped being friends with this girl best friend. So like I said, she snaps me at 1.30 in the morning, a picture of her laying on his chest and it's captioned, Hey girly, I hope you don't mind, but I have to spend the night at his house. He lost track of time working on our project and it's way too late for him to take me home. So at this point, I'm furious and I don't snap her back. So the next morning, I call my boyfriend and I asked him, Hey, is Addie still there? So he says, yeah, and then I ask him to put me on speakerphone. So when he does, I say hi to Addie. She goes, OMG, hey girl, how are you? And that's when I pretty much go off on this bitch. I tell him that while he was asleep, she was sending me pictures of her laying on top of him, off of his Snapchat, and that she was sending those type of pictures to multiple people on his Snapchat, because my best friend had texted me that morning, saying that she thought that we broke up because Addie was sending her pictures of her laying on top of him. So I tell him, pick, mirror her. And she starts crying. After a minute of silence, he hangs up the phone and then blocks me. Good luck to the next girl.